Hey there everyone, this is Danielle, uh, and I'm going to be checking out some Box Boy plus Box Girl. Uh, I have played the previous games in this series, there were three of them on the 3DS. Uh, basically, it's a puzzle platformer sort of thing. Uh, I'm not a big fan of the genders, gendering all that, and the title and all that. Um, the previous games just said Box Boy, but you could... Uh, give yourself a cute ponytail or cat ears, even though you were playing ostensibly as Box Boy, so that was okay. Hopefully this game is similar. Um, you can see a bit from the screenshot what the game's about. You can see these little box people are uh, extending out extra boxes, basically, and using them as platforms in order to get around. Uh, I haven't played this one yet. This is, this is my first look. Uh, so we'll see what, what I think of it, but... I did really enjoy the ones in the 3DS, so hopefully this one will be good too. Uh, okay, well, this is pretty. The visuals are a bit better. They didn't look so great on the 3DS. I thought it was a bit too too simple and bland, but this nice backdrop and the, and the way the visuals are working, it's nicer. I guess there's a two-player mode, which is interesting. Uh, I'm by myself, so we're playing one player for now, but there wasn't a two-player mode before, so that's a nice new feature. Uh, I assume there's like a cooperative system or something. Okay. So I'm playing as this box here. You can't do very much. Uh, you can crouch a little bit. You can jump about one block of height. Uh, you can see... I was going to do a tutorial. I'll just, I'll just go through the tutorial normally. Uh, you can use the D-pad or the analog stick. It doesn't matter too much, but you walk at the same speed regardless, so it probably doesn't. So you probably just want to use the D-pad if you want the precision. Uh... So yeah, this is the main mechanic of the game. You can hold down uh, the Y button, it was the same on the 3DS, and stretch out a number of blocks from yourself, which varies depending on the level. Here is just one. Uh, then you can drop that block and stand on it. Uh, you can see a crown up there. The way crowns work is you have to use a certain number of blocks before you get to the crown. Uh, if you use too many, then the crown disappears and you can't get it. Here I think it's just okay to use as many as I want, so... Cool. Um, but yeah, the crown's just a bonus thing for doing the puzzles well, basically. And the goal is to get to a little door at the end. There we go. Uh, okay, so the boxes used thing is actually a separate thing here. I wonder if the crowns still work the same way. Hmm. Guess I'll find out. <laughs> uh, the world map sort of style is pretty much the same as before. This is how it looked on the 3DS games. But the resolution's much higher, which is nice. Okay, so box limit, I can only make one box in this level at a time. Uh, spit it out like that. As you can see, you can walk around with the box attached. You just tap Y again when you want to drop it. There we go. Uh, you can just jump over this little gap here. There we go. Uh, so the tutorial up there is for telling you what to do. I don't know if I can turn that off. Is that what that does? No, apparently not. I don't know what this guide off thing does. Anyway, yeah, you just have to jump up to the crown, easy peasy. Uh, you can bring the same box over here, rather than having to make another one. There we go, just come up here. That should be perfect score, right? Probably. So you get the idea. These are only the very basic mechanics of the game, of course. It does get a lot more elaborate. Uh, and we should be seeing some of the other stuff that happens soon. Box limit two. There we go. Things are starting to get interesting. Okay, uh, let me see. Okay, so you have to use L and R, not ZL and ZR. You can see if I hold one of them down, it just tells me how it works. Yeah, so you can launch back to the last checkpoint, which is usually the last, like, interesting kind of jump you had to do, basically. So yeah, now we can make two blocks at once, which is stuck together to make a bigger sort of platform. Then we can do that accidentally. <laughs> there we go. Let's jump on it like that. Uh, 
here, what we want to do is basically put it here. Uh, when the blocks turn grey, they're being affected by gravity normally, so you have to keep that in mind. Uh, here, what we want to do is actually drop these down like that, so we can jump down, get the crown, and then continue. I don't know if that was a perfect score or not, I might need to replay the level. Nope, okay, all, all good, all good. Uh, in the previous games, it just tells you you need to get like a certain number of boxes used to reach the crown, so you know before you're done if you've messed up because you can't get a crown. Uh, this one, it seems to be doing things a bit differently. Uh, box limit three. Uh, is this doing what I think it's doing? Oh no, it's just a staircase, okay. So yeah, you, once you have three boxes, you can make little staircases like this. And you can put them in spots like this as well. Easy peasy. Uh, you can also go like this, make a bridge. Cross over here. Apparently that's still a really good score. It's interesting that there only seems to be one way to do a lot of this stuff. The more interesting puzzles tend to be a bit more open-ended. In the previous games anyway, I don't know if it's the same here. Uh, okay, we're up to four boxes now, which is exciting. Uh, I believe these spikes here... Oh, right, okay. This is two we should be able to get across, yeah. You can see you don't need nearly as many as it's trying to say you need, uh, which is a handy trick sometimes. Oops. Ah, uh, didn't work. <laughs> uh, let me see. There we go, that's the way to do it. Uh, I haven't got any costumes yet, which is a bit sad. I'm just a generic box right now. Uh, but I assume I'll get access to some costumes soon. There were quite a few in the previous games, so... I'm guessing when I finish World 1, it'll open up a bit more. Box Limit 4. It's easy. That's world one done. Uh, I assume I got a perfect score in that too. Got all the crowns. And all the boxes. Yeah, cool. Coolie, coolie, cool. Ba, 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 ba. So that's the end of world one. I assume it'll give me like a little overworld sort of thing at this point. The previous games had a bit of a bit of an overworld for traveling between the individual worlds. Oh, hang on. This looks like a bit of a narrative maybe. Okay, so we have boxes that are wearing bows and boxes that are not wearing bows. Are the two genders. <laughs> and there's us. Uh... Oh, hello, there's a, there's a box wearing a bow. Oh no! Oh, okay, I see. The world's gonna... So the narrative is starting now. Uh... A similar sort of thing happened in the previous games with the with the dark area with the little cloudy um, blockages and stuff. Um, I don't think it really explained why it was like that. This one's sort of giving you a little bit of a narrative without any words. Okay, so yeah, this is the way the overworld usually looked in the previous games. Uh, you've got a bunch of doors that lead to the individual worlds with all their levels in, and you've got a shop just there near the front. Uh, that's something. I don't know if that unlocked the next world or what. Okay, okay, so you can switch between characters, but basically it's whether you get a bow or not. Um, I don't know if that matters at all. 
Uh, let's have a look in the shop and see if I can get any costumes for my characters yet. I'm starting to think maybe not, because you're going to be able to st distinguish one character from the other, but maybe there's still costumes, maybe. What have we got? We got whatever this is. Changing room. Try on your accessories. Okay, so you come over here. Assist items. Oh, okay. Balloon challenge. Comics. That was, in, that was in the previous games, too. You can get little narratives about parts of the game, which are kind of cute. Uh, unlocked music, like a sound test sort of thing. Uh, really? Okay, so they're using a loot box system here. Uh, like in uh, Crafted World, which I'm not a fan of. In the previous games, you just bought the outfits you wanted using the, the money, rather than having to use a loot box system to unlock the pieces you need. <sighs> okay, cat ears. Okay, good. Uh, I'm just gonna do this, these for three free ones and see what they are. It might always be the same for the first couple, I don't know. Uh, the unibrow, okay. It looks like you can actually combine multiple accessories instead of just having one costume piece at a time, which is nice. Uh, that's a good improvement. Uh, doe eyes. Are those doe eyes? That would... Alright. And it costs another 30 medals to draw another accessory. Considering these medals are, I believe, strictly finite, I assume you always get a different one and it's not actually loot boxes. Uh, maybe not though. Okay. Okay, the caters are behind my bow, so that looks a bit weird. Uh, let's just mess with some of this stuff. Might look better if I actually switch over to the other character and make them look cute. Eh, it doesn't quite work. Alright, um, well, we're wearing bows now, so that's cute. Uh, let's head on to the next world and see if any of the puzzles get more interesting. It looks like the two characters follow each other around. I'm guessing in two-player mode, each player is controlling one of the two boxes. So, uh, over here, yeah, world two, and then we've got, uh, something here. Uh, because there's a bunch of other stuff here we don't have access to yet. And we can't cross this gap. We can make boxes on the overworld. Uh, but you'll see if you try to make a bridge that way... Oh, okay. In the previous games you could make it, but touching that black stuff in immediately destroyed the boxes, so you couldn't actually get across that way. Whereas in this game, it looks like the boxes just can't go there, there's just an invisible wall. Doesn't matter too much. Oh yeah, also you can just delete the boxes you have by pressing X. Um, that hasn't come up yet, but that is a thing that works. Okay, so world two. Um, what have we got? Box limit three. Okay, so we only have one character. I kind of thought it'd be like a co-op sort of thing where you had to switch characters while placing boxes, but maybe not. Okay, so we've got these little switches that open doors of the same color. Pretty simple. Uh, if we just plop a box there, we can make our way through. Then we can put a box here. Make our way up to here. Uh, if we just drop that like that. There we go. Oops. Yeah, you can quick reset anytime you make a mistake, which is good because it's pretty easy to make mistakes. <laughs> uh, I think I just need a staircase like this to get the crown. And I can push it down here. Yeah. Woo! Yeah, it looks like you get ten of those metal thingies for each level, and I don't think there's a way to get more than that, so... I have to assume the loot box system is actually isn't a loot box system, and it just gives you, like, a random item that you haven't got yet, rather than letting you get duplicates like a real loot box. What's this? Ah, I see. So yeah, um, looks like if you stand inside this square to activate it, so basically what you want to do is something like this. And you can just walk on through. Oh. Yeah, that's okay. Um, let me think here. There we go. Now, we 
do that with three. I don't need four. Let's put it here. I can jump across. There we go. I think if I push this across... Yes. Yay! The caddies and the bow together don't really work. Maybe there's a way to mess with the bow and make it look a bit different. I don't know. Another ten monies. Hopefully some of these areas will be more colourful later. Uh, you can see all the colours gone, but it was in there in the first world and it was nice, so... Hopefully they'll bring it back. Ah, uh, let's put that there. Here you need to... Position it so you can jump up using it, like this. It looks like the game doesn't mention very much that the characters are in fact gendered, which is nice. Uh, your accessories don't show on this map screen though, so you can't just make your character look cute and then never have to worry about it ever again, which is less nice. So here, you need to learn how to erase stuff, so there's a hint up there. You just delete your boxes, and then you can see you can get through. Pretty simple. Uh, let me see. Okay, yeah, I need, I need an actual, like, staircase like this to be too far. There's a second crown down there, which I want. There we go, pretty easy. That the only thing to spend those medals on is the the um like capsule slot machine loot box machine thing for getting accessories. I might be wrong though, so I might not want to use it just yet. Okay, so here we need something like this, so we can hit that switch and then head over this way. Um, here we need to climb up there so we can place a, a block in the right spot. So. Oops. Here we should be able to mess up the jump. There we go. I actually need three here in order to reach it, which is a bit annoying. Uh, here now. Okay, so first we need to activate that switch, which means we need to basically do that. Uh, maybe we can do it with two. Yes, we can. There we go. Then we need to. Uh, something like this, so that we have somewhere to stand to get the crown, and then we're good. Oh, almost. There we go. Hopefully that was a full score, but it might not be. Nope, all good. Alright. Ba 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 ba. Da 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 da. Some of the more interesting mechanics don't show up till later in the game. Uh, assuming they're in this game, but they probably are. Mm. Okay. Um. So we're going to do something like this, basically. There we go. Something like this. There we go. Ooh, where are we 
got here. Okay, so maybe a bit of a staircase like this. And then... that, it's pretty easy. Then we wanna, uh, I guess just, just like this. Get crown. There we go. Not too tricky. Ba, 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 da, da, da. I don't know if I got all the medals though. No, I did. Alright. I kind of wish it would tell you what the medal, like, totals you need are before you head in, but maybe that's what the targets button does on the world map. I should check that. Okay, so that's world two done. Uh, I don't know how many worlds there are in this game. Uh, hopefully a lot, because they're not very difficult or long. Uh, and you get whatever that is when you do it. I assume that's the MacGuffin that will be used for something important later. Okay, so world three, we've got uh, explosions by the looks of things. Oh, zappers, okay. Okay, yeah, so pressing, if you press uh, the Y button on the world map, it tells you what crowns you need and how many boxes you need to do it with. Okay, so seven. Okay. I don't know if it tells you the total number you've used anywhere in this game. In some of the others, it actually tells you just on the on the bottom screen. Oh, yeah, if, if I pause, it tells me there. Okay. It doesn't just tell me on the screen for some reason, which is a bit annoying. So if I just drop that there. Yeah, okay. So yeah, if you touch those, you're gonna die. So you have to put something on them so you can make your way past them. Yeah, the 3DS games are a lot clearer about whether you've reached your goals or not, but maybe they want you to just do the level normally first and then worry about doing it and getting certain objectives. I don't know. It might tell you on a second run or something if you didn't get it the first time. Okay, so here, um, a single block would normally work, but if you use a single block here, you're going to run into the top zapper, so we actually need a bit more like that in order to get past everything. Here we can just do this. There we go. Same thing here, just use two blocks. Uh, here we need like a bridge like that. So we can grab this crown and we're good. Ba, 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 ba. I feel like they're taking a while to build up to the more interesting parts of the game. Uh, there's various things you can do with like a, a large number of boxes in order to um, do interesting platforming and stuff uh, that it hasn't really demanded of me yet. I might show off some of it um, if I feel it, it might be useful. Oh. Yeah, let's give it a try. Huh. Okay. Um, what I was trying to do there, in the previous games, if you hang like that, so that you can't actually walk and your boxes are sitting on something. You can tap the Y button to basically suck yourself across the chain of boxes. Apparently in this game that doesn't work, which is weird. Uh, maybe I need to unlock the ability to do it by getting to the right part of the game or something. You get a bit stuck like this if you jammed yourself in, so I can't actually walk now, just sort of shimmy back and forth instead. Uh. There we go, pretty easy. Uh, the A button, as far as I can tell, does nothing. I don't know if it will do something later.
I'll probably go back to the slot machine soon and get a few more accessories since I have plenty of those target medals and as far as I can tell they do nothing else. Okay, now I do need four because I can't jump across that gap because your jump height is completely fixed no matter how long you press the button for. Here you just need to... Oh! Okay. Um. There we go. So you have the idea, it's a puzzle platformer sort of thing based around the fact that you can generate boxes out of yourself because you're a box person. For some reason. <laughs> Doesn't make much sense. <sighs> uh, I guess I'll advance a few more levels in, see how we go. Five boxes, my goodness. Use three, that'll, yeah. Crown over there, which I want. So I'm gonna do something like this to go get it. Uh, then I need. Yeah, I need a different one. I need one that looks like this. Because that'll put it there and block off those so I can walk over safely. Stage six. Ooh. Um. Well, you can do that, but I think I can do it with fewer. So let's try to do it with fewer. Oh, we're going to be going up that way. Okay. I actually need like this so you can actually go all the way up to here. to get all the crowns for the other ones to count? Maybe you do. I haven't missed any crowns yet, so I'm not sure. Uh, anyway, got all the, all the monies. And that's world three done. I don't know what sort of progression we're going for here, how many worlds there are or anything like that, but... You can see we're getting these little pieces of, I guess, a big box each time we clear a world. Why do we put them together? Uh... Oh, oh, here we go. Oh, it's a heart. Oh, that's cute. And we're going to fix that, that gray person. Oh, look. Look, it's a blue child. How adorable. I mean, a child with blue cheeks, anyway. I think there's a Pokemon like that, but I forget which. <laughs> oh, here we go. World 4 is finally bringing in the interesting mechanics. Uh, I'm going to keep going a bit longer in that case. So yeah, hooks. Uh, basically, yeah, you come into this world. Little kids come with me, apparently. I don't know what that's gonna entail.
basically what you want to do to get through an area like this. Oh, I see the kid's powering me up with the hook ability. I get it. You make a chain like that, then you sort of hang it onto a ledge and you can pull yourself up. Like that. Kind of strange that you had to learn that. I'm pretty sure in the previous games you could do it at any point. But yeah, it's pretty simple. Let's do something like that. Here you probably just need two. Yeah. Yeah, you can start to see the more interesting mechanics in the game, things like those hooks. Uh, yeah, that was fine. Uh, I guess they only kick in when you get to the appropriate world? I'm pretty sure in the previous games they've worked before you got to the world that you had had to use them in. Which is, which is weird that they've changed that. Hmm. Yeah, the way hooks work is pretty simple. Uh, I may not have done that with enough boxes because I did a couple of jumps twice, basically. We'll see how we went. That's the first one. I didn't get all the boxes. Wow. Uh, I guess I should probably redo that level. Hit the right target this time. I don't know if I need to get the crowns as well. Let's have a look and see if I can do it without the crowns, because obviously I won't use as many boxes if I do it that way. As you can see, it's quite easy. I didn't get the crowns, but I already got the crown medal, so... Okay, yeah, they're separate. Okay, so you might have to do a level twice, because getting the crowns usually involves using a few more boxes. That's no big deal, though. Sometimes you do things that aren't using the, the new gimmick. Like in that last metal, that last uh, crown there, for example. spikes, so you can't actually uh, hook your way onto those spikes either, you have to be careful about that. There we go. Oh, whoops. Okay, yeah, the way you're supposed to do this is, uh, I believe that you have to do something like this. Oh, almost. Okay, 
yeah, that's not gonna get me the crown because I'm at the wrong height. Um, So yeah, what you have to do is, um, hook your way down to where the crown is, basically. I'm having some trouble with that. Uh, you can see just doing it like that does not work. You get the crown, but then you die, so you don't keep it. Okay, so two. Oh, okay. So you have to actually use a hook from the right spot. And get it. But yeah, if you're at the same height, you get spiked by the spikes, which is what I'm worried about. Okay. Hmm. I'm very confused. Ah, there we go. There we go. That was not that hard, actually. <laughs> I was just messing it up. Ah, get all the medals. Excellent. So yeah, there's no lives or anything. You retry instantly from the last, basically, thing you had to do. So it's not... It's like, it's impossible to mess up, basically. Uh, which is nice. Okay, so that is allowed. I wasn't sure if it would let me do that. Uh, this is called a snake. When you, uh, push the blocks through a, a narrow tunnel like this in order to get yourself through there. Uh, because you normally couldn't go through there, but with the hook you can. Uh, and that is called a snake instead. I wasn't sure if it would count as a separate move, or if I were to get, or to get access to it. So here. There we go. I may need to retry to do that with fewer blocks, but we'll see how we go. Nope, all good. Here again, you need to use the snake to get past here because of the narrow space. Uh, basically, you just have to have the last block be touched. Not just for the last block, but the cheapest to use the last block. Making sure it's touching uh, a solid surface you can stand on. And it'll go red like this, and you can just pull yourself through. Easy peasy. Uh, here you want to go to this spot. Like that. And then come down here. To grab the crown and make your way out. Touching the crown with another box besides you doesn't help, so you have to be careful about that. Uh, this world's a little bit longer, as you can see. Eight stages instead of six. So I guess they'll be probably be using longer ones as we go along. I should have mentioned up front that this is a puzzle game and it will be spoiling puzzle solutions. Hmm. Might put that in the description or something when I upload this video. Honestly though, these are very easy puzzle solutions. I don't think it's too much of a spoiler. It's not like I'm playing like Barbara's You or something. 
where, you know, seeing it can completely ruin a level for you. Hmm. Eight boxes, my goodness. Okay, so now we're combining some things. We have the, the zappy fellows that killed ya, and we also have some snaking to do. Huh. Okay, so here we just want to loop around there first, like this. We don't actually. Hang on. I think what we want to do actually is put some blocks here uh, so that we can reach up to that crown basically. Also, you can push yourself along by doing this, which is an interesting quirk. The way this game works. I believe in the other games you would die by doing that because you're touching spikes, but in this one it doesn't seem to be a problem, which is nice. Uh, what do I do after that though? Yeah, that's what I thought would happen. Okay, so put it there. Then we want to stand over here, I reckon. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. I don't know if that was the right number of blocks or too many, or we'll see. We'll see. Ba -ba 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 -da -ba -ba -ba. No, that was fine. <laughs> 47 boxes, but that's okay. <laughs> oh my goodness. Ba -ba -ba -da 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 -da. Um, I assume, yeah, that box, that we get a box here that we can use to fill up that hole in the ground, basically. Ah, uh, there we go. Which means we can get across to that treasure chest and also the world on the other side. So let's see what's in the treasure chest first. Uh, a bunch of extra stuff to go and buy in the shop. What a great reward. <laughs> stuff that you can now buy. <laughs> okay, so we're going to like a different screen of the world map now by the looks of things. Ooh. Okay, so these th three worlds are all open at the same time, which is interesting. I guess I can play them in any order. That's pretty cool. We've got world five, which has, looks like dirt maybe, you can dig through it or something. Uh, World 6 that has lasers, These are, those are from some of the previous games, you block them with your boxes so they don't kill you. It's pretty fun. Uh, springboards, I think that's new. And I'm guessing we will rescue this person and get a new move when we do all three of these worlds. Uh, then you clear this one and it'll unlock the stuff over here I assume. And we can rescue this person. And clear this one which will open this door over here. Radio. Okay, so the world list here lets you warp to everything, which is good. Oh, and the names are here. Dig, so you dig for victory, it is digging. Dodging lasers, spring to the top, yep. Uh, are the controls configurable, or...? No, it's just telling you what they are. So there's three more moves I haven't learnt yet by looks of things. <laughs> um, I can just walk back to the shop, which is nice, because I want to. I want to try to get a few more accessories and see what the game has to offer. Uh, while I'm doing that, since that'll take a little while, I'm just going to talk about my thoughts on this game. Uh, I like it. I like this concept for a game. Um, the puzzles, I like I like how they're ramping up in difficulty a little bit. Uh, it's still quite easy at this point, but given the previous games, I'm expecting it to get more difficult and be more engaging. I'm interested in the fact that there's apparently a co-op mode, but I haven't tried it, so I can't comment on whether it's good or not. Uh, I don't like this method of getting accessories, um, since in the previous games it was just, here's the stuff that you can buy using regular coins. Uh, well I got some hair. <laughs> um, whereas in this game it's, oh my gosh, that's cute. 
Uh, in the original, in the in the 3DS titles, it's it's a lot less random. I mean, I'm assuming this is random. It might actually be just unlocking things in a certain order every time. Uh, which is okay, but weirdly opaque if that's how it's working. <laughs> oh my gosh, I'm such great stuff. Uh, I'm glad that you can pick multiple bits of fluffy tail. <sighs> I'm glad you can do multiple bits of customization. In the previous games, you could have one costume, which was basically just like, you got a ponytail, or you got some cat ears, or I think you could get maybe like a skirt or something. I don't remember. Probably a crown too. Um, but yeah, in this one, you actually have like four different slots to pick accessories for, which is cool. Uh, I don't like the weird insistence on binary gender. <gasps> Sailor suit. Oh wow, nice. <laughs> um, or the, uh, I don't know, the, the way Box Girls boxes has little bows on them is cute, and I assume in co-op that's important, so you can tell whose boxes are whose, but, you know, that's not that's not how a gender works. But bows is not a gender. I mean, it is a gender. Like, everything, e every word is a gender, but it's not, it's not, you know, it's not, it's not the female gender, it's a different one. Okay, that's cute. Uh, I'm out of the ability to buy accessories at this point. I guess let's have a look at what I've got. Um... Yeah, you can see there's lots of different options you can go with here, which is really cool. I'll put on this tiara. That looks really cute. Uh, change the eyes. She's sleepy. Uh, a couple of different bodies too now, so I can go with... Uh, oh, do I want the fluffy tail? Or do I want the... I think the sailor suit. There we go. Maybe the witch's hat. Oh, that looks really good. Oh yeah, I'm going with that. That's awesome. <laughs> Yeah, check her out. Cute. Okay, so the outfit system in this game is, is really cool compared to the outfit system in the previous games, which is a little bland. Uh, what do we have here? Assist items? What do they do? Okay, so you can you can actually buy these in order to cheat a little bit. I guess these medals must actually be unlimited because these items are clearly consumable. Um, but the other, other, other medals, I think, are limited, so I don't know. Uh, this is just like a sound sound test sort of thing. You can buy the songs and then play them back whenever you want. Uh, balloon challenge. Okay, so I've got to buy the stages here. So yeah, that's just, that's just unlocking bonus stages, basically. Uh, the comics... Uh, I'm not telling you much about them, but... I assume there's like a cute, cute little narrative in each one, and you just can read them. Uh, you can see it says P1 here. I assume there's a, if I went to P2, then the other player would be controlling the other box here. Um... So, yeah, um, I like that the mechanics seem to be getting a bit more in, well, more in depth. Uh, I don't think digging was in the previous game. I can't remember any springboards either. So those are both new concepts by the sound of things. Uh, I kind of like the way it's introducing concepts and unlocking them at the same time. I believe the previous games just had everything available but didn't teach you how to play all the different mechanics until you got several worlds in, which isn't great. Um, I kind of wish the aesthetic were a bit more colourful. Like it, like at the very beginning of World One, everything was all green, and it, 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 like it looked really nice. Um, but then it went to this, like everything's black aesthetic again, where it's just, it, it's it's kind of nice in the way that it's minimalist. But I I liked having a bit more, uh, a bit more colour to the to the game worlds basically, rather than just having it be. You know, these little white boxes on a black backdrop, basically monochrome. Um, so, I, I, th I think it would be nice to have the game world be more colourful. It may get more colourful as I play, maybe, because, you know, the colours, like, the colours going away is clearly the evil that I'm trying to stop by going through these worlds somehow. I don't, I'm not really fighting anything, I'm just going through little levels of puzzles go through some doors, so I don't know how that's going to, you know, fix anything, but that's what we're doing. Um, I like that the game looks to be fairly expansive. I don't know how big it actually is. Uh, as you saw, like, the worlds are not, they don't take long to go through, so hopefully there are quite a lot of them. Um, uh, let me think, what else? Um, I think I mentioned already, I have played the previous, like, like I did like the concept when I played the three previous games on the 3DS. Um, 
I think a co-op mode is a good idea for a game like this. I assume it has to use different levels because I believe each player gets separate boxes, so... Whoa! Uh... Okay, that's not... That's, that's, that's a bit concerning. Um... I might just launch it back up and make sure it, it works. Because, um... Yeah, that's not good if, if my, my games are going to crash like that. I don't think I did anything special to make that happen. I guess there's maybe just some bugs they need to work out? I don't know. Yeah, it looks like a Tale for Two actually uses different levels or something. That's how it sounds, anyway. Um, I'm glad it doesn't mention the whole uh, binary gender stuff very much. Like, it says box boy or box girl and the choose your character thing just there, but that's like the only place in the game it brings it up at all, as far as I can tell. Which is nice. Um, and you can have, you know, you can have every character wear every outfit, so it's not a problem if, you know, you want to you wanna put the, the quote-unquote boy into a cute outfit. Might just go do that just to demonstrate that it works. <laughs> uh... I think my main criticism is, is the aesthetic. It's just... Like, the, the monochrome design, like, it, it looks sort of nice, but I, I, th I think adding more colour would give it much more visual appeal than this everything is black and white sort of look that the game is, is encouraging. Let's see. No, that's not good. Uh, Tiara? Oh, yes! Uh, um, I haven't got the... Eyelashes eyes yet, so if I can use the eye mask. Sleepy. <laughs> I really like the sailor suit, look at that. Ah. I haven't got any mouths yet, which is interesting. There we go. Perfect. <laughs> look at these cuties. <laughs> And yeah, I'm not a fan of this loot box thing. I think I already mentioned. I, I just... I don't think it's actually a loot box, because I'm pretty sure you can't regenerate these medals in any way. It's like you do the challenges for a world. Like, you go, you go to, you know, 1-1 or whatever, and you can get a certain number of medals out of 1-1, and then that's it. Okay, so... Th oh, there's actually, like, S-ranks and stuff. That's new. I don't remember that being in the previous games. So... I assume I have to get, like, a really low clear time to get an S rank. I don't think that gives me any extra rewards, though. Um, besides the medals and stuff that I've already got. And yeah, it doesn't want to tell me about the medals anymore. It's talking about the scores instead. I guess that's because I already completed the world 100%. So it changes to showing scores instead. I don't know, that's weird. If I just jump over to World 5 and have a look, it should still be telling me the targets, right? Yeah, okay, so, yeah, when you star a world by completing every target and every level, it gives you scores instead. That makes sense. So, I guess you could try to S-rank every level if you wanted to 100% the game, I suppose. I don't think that's so super important, because as far as I can tell, there's no... No, there might be a reward for doing it. Maybe I should try... Uh, maybe. Um, but yeah, that's uh, that's Box Boy plus Box Girl, a game that's pretty nice, but has a title that's it's very binary. Um, uh, so uh, you know, well, um, Box Girl and her pal Box Boy, they like to roll the dice. <laughs> <laughs> oh my goodness, um, little kid falling around is pretty cute too. Um, yeah, so that's this game. Uh, I think I would recommend it. It crashed once and I've been playing for like an hour, so I, I assume that's not going to be an, like a persistent issue. And everything auto saves, so at the worst you would lose one level if it does happen again, so I'm not too concerned. Um, I like it. I would recommend this game. Uh, it looks good to me.
Uh, it is very similar to the previous games. It looks like they have expanded on a bunch of stuff, though, which is good. And, you know, this this uh, this whole Sailor Suit Witch aesthetic is, is beautiful, and I'm so glad we can dress up like this in this game. Wonderful. <laughs> Uh, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed. I hope this gave you an idea of what this uh, box-oriented video game is all about. Uh, and I hope you got something out of this, you know, like a like an opinion. Um, yeah. <laughs>